Welcome to part 7 of my flipbook tutorial. We're exporting flash flipbooks directly from Adobe InDesign and in previous tutorials I focused on making printed books um, out, of, um, out of my novels. What I'd like to do here is actually create a portfolio site that a photographer or graphic designer might use and I've just put uh, a few pictures um, from my own collection in this and I've laid this out as a book and you can see um, there's my cover and uh, this page overlaps the desktop and then here are my thumbnails um, I've got a, uh, an image on each page and then a back button that takes you back to the thumbnail gallery and here are my images not too many of them this has a little line on it and I'm just gonna drag this down and crop it a hair that'll do that and then I've got a link in the back here. I'm going to start in the back. This is the easiest one of all. I'm going to highlight my text. Make sure that you actually use the underline tool here to, uh, to underline your text because InDesign is not going to underline it for you just because you make it a link. In the interactive palette, you can go to Window, interactive and choose these various things here. I'm going to choose hyperlinks and here I'm simply going to say from this menu new hyperlink and I'm going to link to a URL and um, there's already a URL I've typed this in previously otherwise I would just type it in here um, essentialabsurdities.com and here it is uh, slash bookscaler.zip and this is where you can download the sample files now I'm going to use the bookscaler for this and that's covered in a different tutorial um, and you're welcome to use that and download it and this source file this InDesign file is included in it as well in the download so let's go um, to our buttons page next and let's just look at this. Now there is a buttons palette. I'm going to go ahead and just drag these off so that you can keep this open. Each button I've given it rollover states and I've simply selected it. Now I click on rollover and what I did is I went to the effects palette and I set this to 75 percent. So just by giving it a state it's got a button and then I have go to page. Now if you look at the pages palette it's going to tell you exactly which one to go to and what I want to do is go to the page that has the surf on it so we have one two three so um, three spreads so this is page six it's actually page five we want to open it to this left hand page so I just say go to page here are my actions I'll delete it so you can see it on release go to page 5 of 18 so what I've done is for each of these buttons I've simply identified the page that they're on this one goes to 7 this one goes to 9 this one goes to 14 of 18 and all we're doing is counting these left-hand pages of the spreads and opening them up going there so the linking of this is very easy the making of the button states is very easy you can see the normal versus the rollover state and uh, it's handling all of that I always like to put a little something or other to tell people how things work uh, it's just generally a good idea and the last thing I have is a little button and it's gonna work exactly the same way this back button um, has a normal state which is normal and then this I added a little bit of a red glow for the rollover state and it has a go to page 3 and if we go to page 3 we're gonna see let's zoom back out uh, here it is here's my portfolio so I can make a portfolio book very very easily with some navigation you can modify my file or make your own and and that's it I'm going to go ahead and export this and um, I've named this brickphotos.swf I'm gonna hit save 
replace. Now I'm going to use the scaler and I'm going to assume that I might want to bring this up to 200% scale. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose 144 which is twice the 72 dpi resolution. I can choose PNG lossless but if you really want the finest quality but JPEG's going to be fine and everything else I'm pretty much going to leave as it is. If you want to preview you can click generate HTML and view SWF after exporting. I'm going to hit OK and here it is exporting the book and you can see how that background I created, that gray just blends into the background. Now here it is, it doesn't do anything with scaling or anything like that. So what I'm going to do is use the... I'm going to go ahead and, and use the book scaler and I've just typed in brickphotos.swf is the one to load. This doesn't matter because I'm going to say auto size to 96. So I set this to true. It's going to be 96% of the screen. Um, and this is editing the action script in the first frame of the file. So um, I want to center it so that it scales from the center and I want to show this hint after 24 seconds. And then I'm going to set this drag handle width in the center. That is how wide an area uh, is, is there going to be an invisible handle. Um, in this case I'm not going to limit the page range. I want to show the whole book. If I wanted to limit a lower range and an upper range um, and have a place where if you landed on, on an illegal page it bounced back to, that would be right here. I'm going to go ahead and just hit Command Return. Now my stage size is set small and you'll notice that my, my scale slider is actually off the stage. However, it is scaled to fit the stage. I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, scale this back up um, so that you can see it. I can move the slider and uh, I can go to the next page. I can also grab by this handle and move the book around. Let's go ahead and save this and close this and close flash. And the best way to see this is right here in the browser. I'm going to go ahead and refresh this page and I'm actually loading this from right online and you can see now that I'm using the browser window instead of the default flash stage size I don't have problems with my with my slider moving off and I can scale this anywhere that I want it I can drag my book around I can go to the next page I can go to the previous page and you'll notice I had not yet dragged the slider so I get a hint try dragging the scale slider out of the way I can close that and then I can drag this down here uh, and and not risk having it load in a place where it's not on somebody's screen. So this is movable. I can still scale. I can go to the back cover and uh, I should be able to click on my link. You'll see I get the hand cursor and that's it. Go back to my front cover and this is uh, the easy way to make portfolio sites uh, with Adobe InDesign.